Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are doing a review of the Victorinox Huntsman Light. All right, so let's just do a short little overview of all the tools that are on this guy. You have your full-size knife, pen knife, do it a little closer to the camera too, saw, Scissors, fantastic scissors, if I do add. You have an inline Phillips. Flashlight that you're able to change the batteries out on. Bottle opener, flathead, wire stripper. Can opener and Phillips. Parcel hook. All slash scraper. You can use this to stitch leather because you can put thread through that hole. Put thread through the hole there. It's like a micro flathead, I think this one is. Let's see. Corkscrew with eyeglass screwdriver. Eyeglass screwdriver, so you have eyeglasses. Uh, it also has a pin. So you can get in and do some real delicate work if you need to. It just slides back into the scale. There's a hole on the scale right here, okay? This is like a micro flathead. It's kind of weird. Not entirely sure if it's just a flathead, but I think it's just a like a T flathead, micro flathead. Okay. Of course you have tweezers, it's a Victorinox. You got your toothpick, okay? And you have a pressurized ballpoint pen, which is rather nice. And then you have a uh, key ring. So you can throw it on a keychain or some kind of attachment, like a lanyard, like I did. All right, so now that we know what's on this bad boy, sorry, I bumped the camera. Probably looked like the whole world was shaking for a second. No, there are no earthquakes. <laughs> I live in Arizona, so. Nowhere really exciting. So we got 123.1 grams. Convert that to ounces. Oh, sorry. Ounces. Four point two five five. So we'll say four point two six ounces, okay? We're gonna compare that to some other tools. So 4.26, okay? 4.26, that is lighter than a Leatherman Skeletal. That is lighter than a Leatherman Rev. Then we have the Super Tinker. Super Tinker is lighter. Then we have, uh, I believe this is the manager. Night manager is gonna be lighter. This is like one ounce. This is like their SD size. Compared to a pair of three, it's going to be heavier than a pair of three. And then just for giggle, uh, we are going to do a bug out which is definitely lighter at 1.88. All right. Goodbye, everybody, from the scale. Tuck this guy back over here. Let's get some dimensions. Talking about an inch wide. About... Set this guy down. Talking about three and a half. So an inch by three and a half. The scales themselves are about an inch. So you're talking about... 
three and a half square inches is what this will take up area wise. Let's compare that with the Super Tinker. Super Tinker's about five eighths and about three quarters of an inch by about three and a half. All right, so this will take up less space. This is gonna, the, this is gonna take up less space than this guy, for sure. Now let's compare it to something like the Skill Tool, right? Skill Tool is heavier, but if we're going off of, so this is a half inch thick here. We got about four inches, so this is going to be taller, okay? And then if I go at the widest point up here, about an inch and a quarter. Oh, sorry, I have my glasses on. My glasses just tap the camera there. Uh, about an inch and a quarter by about a half inch, inch and a quarter by four inches. So yeah, I mean, even though this guy is thinner, so it won't print through your pants too bad, it's still gonna be wider and longer. Whereas this guy, because it's wider, it'll print in your pants a little more. So that is something to take into account. Let's see, about the same dimensions as the skill tool, yeah. This guy's about the same dimensions as the skill tool. All right, so I'd say the ones that are gonna carry better than this are the thinner Victorinoxes and the smaller ones, okay? And what this will basically carry better is better than a Leatherman. Unless you don't like how wide it is here, this way, because it can stick out of your pocket more, but in terms of actual pocket real estate, it's not gonna take up as much. Let's see, just to help y'all with the size comparison, here's a bug out right next to it. Bug out's got a larger handle and a larger blade. Another size comparison, pair of three is also going to be taller, but not as wide. Let's see, the handle is, the pair of three actually usable handle is about the same size as this. And then the blades, let's pull the blades out real quick. Just for a little size comparison. The blade on this guy is definitely, definitely shorter. Yeah, this is a two and a half. This is a three, but in terms of cutting edge, got about two and a quarter on this and you got about two and a half. So pair three is gonna have more cutting edge, but you have two blades on this guy. All right, so now that we got some idea about the weight and the size of this guy, how it'll carry in the pocket, let's go on to some thoughts about this guy and my experiences with it. So if you carry a Victorinox like this, Definitely put a lanyard on it or some kind of clip. It just makes it so much easier to pull out of the pocket. And you can basically, if you just loop that over your pants pocket and your pants are tight enough at the pocket, it'll just like pinch that and keep your multi-tool right in the seam of your pants. I have actually used the light on this thing and it is actually very nice. Like it's not strong, but it's nice to have at times. Like if I'm in a rocky environment and I don't want to quite have my phone out, like I'd rather drop this than my phone on some rocks, <laughs> then I pull this guy out. The two blades is nice because when this one isn't sharp, I'm able to use the other one. The inline screwdriver is actually pretty good. We were doing some signs at work and we had to kind of, you know, use this thing to pop some screws out for signage. Uh, to change some signs out on the rows. And a few of those screws were pretty stiff and it took it like a champ. The uh, the bottle opener on the Victorinoxes is primo, it works really good. I actually use this as a pry bar, the, the flathead screwdriver. And I, I mean, it's not any, no side to side whatsoever. And I have pride, I have pride with this. Uh, and the flathead works really good. I actually like it for popping open rangefinder. So this is the Huntsman. So viewing at, from a hunting standpoint, 
popping open the battery uh, compartment on a rangefinder, very nice. And then this was actually good to get into Swarovski's. Uh, on the SLC Swarovski's, they're 15 by 56s. They have a little cover on the tripod adapter, so you'll get under them and you can pop it up like that. And it won't hurt the binocular whatsoever. I don't think I ever use the can opener, but something you can actually use it for is scoring. You can use it as like a, a mark to mark on wood and such. So in terms of if you're in construction or anything, uh, I did not have the pleasure to use the saw the entire time. I just never had to use a saw. That's one of the tools I just don't really have to use. And if I uh, need to cut something, I just use a knife. So probably the one thing they could get rid of on that, at least in terms of how I carry. Uh, you've, you're probably seeing a lot of gunk on this. I took this on my fishing trip with me, that and the Skeletool, and I got into some water uh, accidentally on one of the days I was carrying this, and it was just low enough for it to get all over the, the multi-tool. Uh, the flashlight still worked and the flashlight was pointing down. So I do think it's, they did as good of a job as they could as making that as uh, water resistant as possible. The scissors are fantastic. I, I love Victorinox scissors. If, if, if you're wanting a larger Victorinox uh, for the scissors, it is phenomenal. The Super Tinker though, you can get the scissors on and you still have a compact frame. Same thing with the compact as well, though I don't have experience with that. The one thing I didn't think I was gonna use as much uh, was probably the, the hook, but I did use it a couple times. I used it to carry groceries one day, which that was kind of fun. I just hooked it on the groceries. I do wish this was a little deeper, the hook there. I didn't have to use the corkscrew for any untying of knots or Sorry about that, my glasses keep hitting the what I use to hold my phone to videotape. I did use this, but I only had to use, it worked so well I only had to use it a couple times on my eyeglasses. Tweezers. I always use the tweezers on these guys. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like one reason you should carry Victorinox is the tweezers. Uh, I did get a chance to use the pen. The pen is good. The The trick with the pen is you, you put this back, okay? And then you put that where it uh, kind of like has a half moon or a quarter moon, quarter crescent. And then you snap that down on it like that. And then you can write. It's not really good if you have a big lanyard in the way, but you can still write. And it's a good way to make the pen a little more, you know, easier to use. I don't ever really use the toothpick on these guys. The only time I actually use it is if I'm trying to get at something fragile. And I'll kind of use it as like a little mini plastic pry bar to kind of get in there and poke around. So as far as the tools on these guys, very good set of tools from Victorinox. In terms of water resistance, uh, zero rust. There's just dust all over everything from that water. The flashlight's pretty good. I do actually like the, the flashlights on the multi-tool and you can change the batteries out. I think you just pop open this back compartment here uh, and then you're able to switch out the, the cells. In terms of the size of this knife, at first it feels really big. It is like Big Bertha. You're like, holy cow, this thing is huge. It feels like I have a fire hydrant in my pocket. And then I, you actually, once you start carrying it for a while, you really start to get used to having it in your pocket. So if the size of a tool is something that, you know, is kind of holding you back, just, just almost force yourself to carry it for just a, at least a couple weeks and then you'll get used to the size and then you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't bad. And when you need the extra tools, it's nice to have. It's nice to have the extra tools. I will say after carrying this and then I slipped this into my pocket, it was like I was carrying nothing. I was like, holy cow, did I forget my multi-tool? And then I checked my pocket and I was like, oh no, I got it. 
It just feels like there's nothing on me. And I mean, this guy is almost, there's a comparison. This is about 50% larger, I'd say, because you can, yeah, see that? That's barely hang, hanging over just a little bit. This is uh, definitely really nice to carry because of the extra tools. And it's lighter than the Skeletool, which only has one, two, three, four, and then we'll, we'll say we'll say five. But the the pliers really it's five because of the wire cutter. You do have the changeable bits with this guy, which is nice. But there's no scissors, which I think on a multi tool is really nice to have. Those scissors, I really love the scissors. That's like one of the main reasons I carry a Victorinox is the scissors are so nice and you're able to, they're a nice fine scissor so you can cut stuff like paper, no problem. Stuff that for rougher scissors would be more difficult. Uh, one gripe, the plastic scales just get all kinds of marred up. It's just, you wanna have nice scales on your Victorinox, you just gotta keep buying new ones. <laughs> if you wanna have nice scales on them. Another thing too is because it's a slip joint, it's hard to clean everything out. With the skeletal tool, I know because it's, it, I can get to kind of most of the tools and clean it out and I don't have to worry about it. The super, the super Tinker has the same flaw. You get pocket, you can literally see pocket lint right there. But what's nice is you kind of have the tool to remedy it. You can just go in with your, uh, with your tweezers, grab the limp ball and pull it out. So it's kind of, that's the funny thing about a multi-tool like this is you kind of have the tools you need to get the job done. Or you could use that toothpick and kind of clean everything out. Now I know, you, I know I did say that the, you do get used to carrying a big tool like this around, but you do feel it when this slips off and then it, all of a sudden you, it goes like, you know, and it goes down into your pocket. I do think there's probably a couple things they could do to make this a little thinner. First, get rid of the saw. I never really use the saws on any of my multi-tools. I know there are people who do uh, and probably get rid of the parcel hook. The only time I could see the parcel hook getting any use, you turn that light on, and then you hang it on a piece of string, and then boom, you're able to still use your light, right? That or a chain, but I don't really ride bikes, right? But if you ride bikes, that's nice. But that could, that could get rid of one of these layers. And then I don't really, see a need for the well i guess if you're you're hunting your your old school camping while you're hunting the can opener would be nice to have it's just really the saw that i think is probably unnecessary because most people when they do go hunting they'll use an a, a, a larger saw with more teeth on it so they're able to cut more effectively the corkscrew is actually nice to have for knots so when you're, you know, you're camping, I can see the use of that. I never had to untie anything though while I carried this thing. So if you don't like super big multi-tools, I'd go with the Super Tinker. That's what I really liked. Although having a flashlight on your multi-tool is actually really useful. So if you think that's gimmicky, I'd say it's actually not. I'd say it actually, I, I use the flashlight more than I thought it would. I just thought the flashlight was cool, so I got it, and then I ended up actually using it a lot when I would go hunting for uh, rabbits. And you know, when you're kind of walking around early in the morning to kind of get to a spot, or when you're hunting coyotes and you, uh, you just want to make sure you're not going to step on a rattlesnake out here. <laughs> That's what this is kind of nice to have, or if I, need to, if I needed to look at anything real quick, because it's not super bright. So it's not really gonna kind of give you away. It's a nice, just low intensity LED. So it kind of just, it gets the job done. 
overall, there are probably a few tools I would remove from this to just slimline it a little more, but I could see when you're hunting, you using probably any one of these tools. Maybe not for its original purpose, but for a purpose. In my day-to-day, -day, if I was, uh, when I do go hunting, I carry this with me over my Super Tinker. So I do actually use it for its intended purpose. But on the day-to-day, -day, if I'm at work, I'll set this guy down and probably just take the Super Tinker with me. If you're someone who thinks you need more tools than what's on the Super Tinker, then I do think the Huntsman Light is a good option. Uh, but om I would say it's a good option only if these two things. You want the inline screwdriver, the Phillips head over the regular Huntsman, okay? And you are definitely going to use the flashlight. If you're not going to use the flashlight, I just do the regular Huntsman because you'll get a lot of these same tools. Now, what I recommend someone buy this. For the amount of use I've gotten out of this, yes, actually. Yeah, if they wanted a larger multi-tool and they're like, where do I begin with Victorinox? I'd say, hey, I think the Huntsman Light's a good option to start because it's smaller than the Champ. It's smaller than the Champ. You're still getting a good tool set. It's a little larger than the Super Tanker, so you're getting more tools than you are there. And I think it's a good middle ground to middle, I would say definitely larger middle size multi-tool in the fact that, you know, it's similar in size to something like a rev but way lighter and you and if you don't need pliers then you're not getting the extra weight from pliers if you guys have any question any more questions about my time carrying this guy i really uh enjoyed it but i think i'm definitely going to be going back to that super tinker uh comment down below what victorinox you guys carry or if you've been thinking of getting one uh leave that down below uh if you're not subscribed please subscribe it helps out the channel uh, share if you like this video. Maybe there's a friend who could use this information as well. Uh, but most importantly, go ahead and stay sharp.